we met on Facebook. He added me. We were probably freshmen in high school, and uh, we, he never really engaged anything. And then um, he came with his aunt and his uncle to my dad's go kart track one day, and we saw each other. And I was like, "You look so familiar. I know you're from somewhere." And so after <laughs> after the go kart races, he slid into my DMs on Facebook. <laughs> Through Facebook, really. I hit her up on Facebook, and uh, the first time we met in person was at her dad's go kart track. I told Justin I loved him two weeks after we started dating. I don't even think we were officially dating yet. I said it, we were at a parade and he didn't hear me. He said, what did you say? And I said, what? I, I didn't say anything. And a couple months later, he said it first. So technically I said it first, but he didn't know. <laughs> I think I did, not sure. Uh, we were sitting in her truck. Uh, I think we was during lunch at school or something like that or after school. and. We, uh, I just said it. I felt it. it we started dating when we were in high school, and uh, he took me to the movies one night, and we were walking back to my car, and uh, he told me, you know I'm going to marry you one day. And I said, boy, I'm 16 years old. Like, you don't know. He said, I pinky promise I'm going to marry you one day. And so just from then on, I knew I was going to stick with him. I knew she was the one whenever I seen her love my kids. I, I just always knew she was the one. So. I just hope we can grow old together, have a porch that wraps around our house, sit in rocking chairs, watch our grandchildren play in the front yard. I just want to grow old with him. I see us just building our family, being successful. Dear Justin. Dear Chelsea. We've waited for this day for so long. I can't believe that it's finally happening. I want you to know that you're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I'm honored to give you the same last name as our kids. I know that my nerves have been so bad all week, but I know that when I see you, none of that's gonna matter. And I want you to know with us together in this life, everything will be all right, It'll be fine. I know as soon as we lock eyes that nothing in the world matters and we're gonna leave here tonight married. I love you so much and I can't wait to see you. I love you very much and I'll support you in anything that you want. I love you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to come together today to join Chelsea and Justin. Lord, I ask that you guide them to be good parents, to love one another. Lord, keep us safe while we're here and on our way home. Lord, bless them with a long and happy marriage. And in his name we all say, Amen. Love is patient, love is kind. It isn't jealous, it isn't bragging, and love isn't arrogant. Love isn't rude, it doesn't seek its own advantage, and it isn't irritable, and it doesn't take a record of complaints. Love isn't happy with injustice, but it's happy with the truth. Love puts up with all things, trusts in all things, hopes for all things, and endures all things. You should always be able to tell each other and look at each other and say, I love you. I love you and I'm sorry. Those two phrases will carry you throughout your marriage. And for you, one special word of advice that you should always say to your wife is, yes, dear. <laughs> so with that in mind, are we ready? Justin, do you take this woman, Chelsea, to be your wife? Yes. To love and to cherish her and to be her. Don't get excited. <laughs> I'm there. You got to be. <laughs> Chelsea, do you take this man to be your wedded husband, promising to keep, cherish, and defend him and to be his one and true and faithful wife for as long as you shall live? I do. 
Uh, Justin, take you, Chelsea, to be my wedded wife. Uh, Chelsea, take you, Justin, to be my wedded husband. To have and to hold, and to stay forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer. In sickness and in hell, to love and to cherish. Until death do us part. But whenever you slide that ring onto each other's hands, I want you to say with great pride and enthusiasm, with this ring, I thee wed. <laughs> with this ring, I be with. With this ring, I be with. By the power vested in me as a judge for the state of Louisiana, I now pronounce you man and wife. And remember what? It's okay. It's okay, Dad. I know. Hey, I feel for it. No, hey. It's good. It's good. It's good. I love it. I love it. So remember what God has joined together, let no man separate. Okay? And I'm gonna step out of the way, and we talked about this yesterday. Sir, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first person to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Barnhart. I had the honor of escorting my sister for our late father. There were a few things in this world that I know he loved. Dr. Pepper, Marlboro Reds, Deer Hunt, he loved you. Guys, we don't lie to speak as fathers, but we try to. Uh, during our lives, we realize after the time of the period, I don't have an artillery or anything to go by. I'm just going by the park. Are we all? Y'all understand what kind of people y'all are here? They're very good people, very good eyes. There's my heart. My baby sister Chelsea, when she came into this world, I think I was 15 years old. She loved me then. <laughs> Love me so much I couldn't get her away from her. I had to put a little toy that she was scared of on the bedroom door. And, you know, she was that way and busy. You being an asshole. No, I loved she wouldn't give my private space. But we, we, we managed to close our age down, and I'm leaving for a good man now. Brother and sister. So, we, we next, and I love her. I'm proud of it. Everybody recognizes the mother's foot, but a father's sake. You and your mother go, you and this world, to respect, to guide, to teach, to love, to become a man. I couldn't be more proud of you. Older brother was one of the people I look up to. Told me a lot. Got me in a lot of shit. <laughs> was one plane. My, my new brother in law, Justin. We've been calling each other brother in law for a long time now, but it's official. We all knew you liked Chelsea when we met her, but you didn't follow up. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I uh, do remember the first time we hung out with this muddy boss. What a ride. <laughs> what a ride. Gone, Frank Foster, Gone, <coughs> Miss Garrett. I think they had that was. Your bride, more beautiful than the sunset on the beach. Her love for you could only be as one. As a father, to all my children, especially you, you and my first son. I bet my heart to you. You may be proud of the father. They say you're supposed to always your advice being the father, standing in of that person. Don't sweat the small shit, man. It's just a marriage. You bet you say best things forever. You always want your best friend. With that being said, I'd like to congratulate the farm hearts with a toast. Congratulations to the Barnhart. That's right.